Hedera Hashgraph is testing a major support level and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. We are 10 members away from 200 members in our Telegram channel. For those of you that are interested in keeping up to date with market updates as well as my charts, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Hey guys, Speaking Charts here. Welcome back to another HBAR analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see from yesterday's moveset, we were testing a very crucial resistance point. And I mentioned, of course, the fact that in terms of a bullish case scenario, we would have to try to break back above these exponential moving averages and as of right now we do have a very small break opportunity but we are trading above these emas once again of course we are trading off weekend volume we're not really expecting much right now but what i am expecting is a possible retest opportunity at 0.09 and of course if we end up retesting it as resistance then we know the fact that this was the local top and we could be looking for a larger consolidation or even a correction towards the downside and of course from a bullish case scenario ideally what i want to see is a clean break above 0.097 in order for us to classify this as a continuation the problem with consolidation zones is the fact that they become tighter and tighter volume starts to die and it becomes extremely hard to know which way it will go the good news for us of course is the fact that with our exponential moving averages we do have somewhat of a good idea and it looks like of course that the bulls are starting to take control of this level for a possible breakout opportunity above zero 0.097 even here on the hourly time frame you can see of course the volume is coming in we are seeing multiple bullish engulfing candles and a lot more bullish pressure compared to the bearish pressure and the fact of course you can see that volume is starting to die on the hourly so this is a good idea to know whether or not we will be looking for that breakout this of course even on the hourly is the third test opportunity and usually on the third test we tend to see a massive breakout formation now i don't want to get too complicated for you guys obviously you guys know me i'm pretty simple in terms of price action but what i'm looking for from a bearish case scenario of course is if we end up breaking below 0.073 then i will consider this a stronger bearish move set possibly down to 0.057 as long as we remain above that level, we are only looking for long positions. And as you guys already know, in the Telegram, we have been only trading these long positions because the market is in an uptrend. We have killed it, absolutely killed it in terms of the bearish case scenario for the past few weeks. And right now, it isn't a time to be a bear. It's a time to be a bull. And the reason I say that is because right now, the trend of these coins is up. You can see zooming out of the chart, H bar has been going absolutely parabolic. We we already had enough opportunity to trade this whole move set towards the downside and as of right now we do have a strong trend change opportunity so you don't want to be counter trading yourself and looking for those opportunities in terms of the bearish case scenario this is like guessing a local top and assuming the fact that we are there and that becomes extremely dangerous because you can see for those of those people that pretty much shorted this area they got wrecked on this area and possibly even getting wrecked up here once again so this is why i always mention if you're looking for a short or you're only looking for a scalping opportunity otherwise we're gonna be looking for long positions only now, some of you guys in the comments have mentioned, why do we leverage trade H bar? Why even bother trading it at all? Why not just buy and hold it? You guys need to understand the fact that in terms of buying and holding, the reason why we called the 0.035 bottom perfect opportunity was because we knew that this was an area of a daily support. We can't just buy something and hold it when we know that they're going to be testing major resistance and major support levels, because at the end of the day, it's much better to have a larger bag than buying here at the top and then losing 50% of your portfolio just because you were looking for the long-term picture. There's nothing wrong with the long-term picture, but ideally what you want to do is try to get somewhat near the bottom so you can get some exponential gains as it continues to go up, sell the local tops and rebuy double of your portfolios at the bottom once again. That's why this channel was created, of course, in terms of HBAR even and these analysis videos is just to help you guys 
kind of understand where the next levels are possibly going to be heading. Now, of course, from a bullish case scenario, if we do end up breaking 0.097, our next take profit level remains at 0.15 for an absolute parabolic moveset. Even here on the hourly time frame, we are trading above that level. You guys already know we've seen two tests. This is now the third test, but I do want to point something out in terms of the hourly. You can see that we did have a lot of correction here as soon as we hit 0.097, multiple bearish engulfing candles breaking below our crucial supports. And now we are retesting this area as resistance. If you guys pay attention though, you can see that we are also looking for a possible W top formation. So this is why I am leaning towards a more bullish case scenario in comparison to a bearish case scenario. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.